Hey everyone, so we're back with another great tutorial and in this one we'll be talking about how we can actually load dynamic teams using Material UI. So to just show you a quick demo, as you can see I have a base team and then I'm going to have a team 1, team 2 and then this is just doing nothing. So there's a couple of things uh, that will happen when I switch the team. So I'm going to click uh, team 1. So as you can see the, the um, color of the background paper that changed and as you can see the elevation changed and of course the primary and secondary colors changed I'm going to switch uh, to theme 2 say watch the buttons so you see they got more rounded and they got bigger and at the same time the elevation actually increased and of course the theme colors you can change a lot of things uh, but this is something to get you started and I'm going to reset the theme back to its original state as you can see, when I click on the button, there's a ripple effect too. So in the other themes, I actually remove that. So when I click on theme one, and then I click on the button, as you can see, the ripple effect is gone. So there you go. We will be creating this and dynamic theme switching. So let's get started. All right, so here's the code. Uh, I'll just talk about the setup. I didn't wanna type this in front of you guys because it's just, very simple i have a paper then i have a typography and then uh, you know the text and i've got four buttons the first button is going to reset the theme the second button is going to switch the theme to theme one and then the other button is going to switch to theme two and that's my handle switch function so that's just the main app setup nothing complicated so let's go to the index.js file now of course before i uh, go over there uh, i have installed Material UI and I have done that in my previous videos and you can also read on my blog so all uh, you need is these three so if I go over to styles and styles.js this is where I have my base theme and that's how I named it so in my base theme I have the palette which where my I've defined my primary color and the secondary color then the shape is going to apply to any shape and then I'm saying that give it a border radius of four so that I don't have to do this at component level, sorry, at uh, each shape level. This can be done, uh, applied across the board. And then of course I am then uh, just doing some component modifications. So I'm saying the button is gonna get some default props and then we're using the SX utility. I've talked about this in one of my previous tutorial we're just giving it some margin uh, you will see what it does so and i'll show you guys same goes for the paper i'm doing some style overrides and i'm changing the background color of it and that, the way you target is by targeting the root component and then i'm gonna i'm going to change the elevation to zero because i want the default one to have no elevation now currently of course you're not seeing these because it's not being applied and that's what we're gonna do. But before I do that, let me talk about the other themes. So if I look over here in the data, so let's say this is gonna come from your server or you store this on your database, wherever you wanna store it. So I just have it uh, locally, but the idea is same. So I have two themes, theme one and theme two. Theme one is just a um, JavaScript object, but of course it's a string. So that's how we are, um, you, when you're storing it, you will be storing it as a string in a file, probably on a server. I mean, it wouldn't make sense to store this in a database. So you will store this in a file and then load it uh, and just like that. So same thing, I have a palette with the primary and the secondary color, then I have a component and then the button, the default props. And as you can see here, I have disabled the ripple just to show when this theme is loaded. And then the button will be small and then we give it a color, font color. And then the same for the uh, paper. I am changing the elevation to 10, and then of course changing the background color. Theme number two is just an object then. Um, same idea, the buttons are large now, and the uh, border radius is 10. And style override, so why I'm showing this different ways is just to show you, well, there are different ways of manipulating the theme and at it, um, at deepest level, at component level. So with that out of the way, I'm gonna close this. 
and I'm going to close this because we don't need this. And now we are going to come here and see how we can use this. So the first thing I'll do is I'll come here and we will use a use state hook. So I'll say const and I'll say theme, set theme, and I'll say use state. And we will give it the base theme. Base theme, should bring it, no, all right, I'll bring it. So I'll say import base theme from styles and styles. Now of course the theme won't be applied because you need to wrap everything in the theme provider. So I will say theme provider and then what theme we want? Well, we were just gonna say theme. All right, and then I'll do that, at the close it off at the bottom like so. Of course, it uh, doesn't know, so we'll just bring it quickly. All right, so as you can see right away, uh, things are looking different. We got our, the, so this is the margin I was talking about, see? It's at the, um, at every component has it. If I didn't have that, then I will have to come here to each button and do it. So this is a quick way, a quick tip, I guess, on how you can do it. And this can be carried over to other teams just to be consistent. The colors got changed and as you can see the border got changed. So if I come back over here to the default team, if I come over here and let's say I'm just gonna go a little bit, uh, some crazy number, 14 pixels and then if I refresh, there you go. So just to tell you that it works, I'm gonna reset it back, let's refresh. Cool. All right, so now that we have this, then we need to talk about how we can switch the team. Now the way, so a simple way would be, you would come here and you would do something like this. That set theme to which, which theme, right? So let's, let me just do it the simple way. So um, let me come here and I hit reset, nothing happens. So I hit theme one, of course this won't work, right? Because the, remember, um, this is the, so let me open that file. So this is the string, we need to uh, parse this. And so I'm doing that here. Now you can you can just simply come and say set theme. That, that's, that's wrong. So what you need to do is you need to call create theme and then supply your theme. So that you, uh, this will create a new theme for you. Now of course I need to uh, bring this. All right, so let's close this and let's try. So there you go, theme one got applied and I'm already doing the, uh, by the way, the JSON on that parse. And then let's see if we can apply theme two. So we applied theme two and I'm gonna do reset. Reset doesn't work because we haven't hooked it up yet. So why don't we do that? So I'll say on click and I'll just do the function here. And what we will do, we'll say set theme base theme. All right, so if I hit reset, there you go. Now you must be thinking, well, how come you didn't do the create theme here? That's because base theme is already calling the create theme, so we don't have to do that. So so there you go, theme one, theme two, and I do nothing is nothing. Now, the, the problem that happens is when I go to theme one, as you can see, I lost I lost the, um, the, the margins. That one is gone. So how can we keep that and at the same time change the theme? So there's something called a deep merge that comes with Material UI. So we could actually use that. And the way we we'll do this is like this. So I'll say const new theme is equal to deep merge. I think it's all small, yep. And then we will say the our existing theme and then the which theme. I don't know, the naming is kind of weird, but and this, uh, you find this in the utilities. So I'll say import deep merge. And we'll say at MUI utils. I think that's where it is. All right. And then we'll say new theme. It will be applied here. So I'm going to save this and refresh just to make sure nothing is wonky. All right, so I'm gonna go theme one. 
theme two. As you can see, the margins are capped. And I'm going to hold reset. As you can see, the, the color of this change and the elevation. So currently, there's no elevation. I'm going to go to theme one. I think it's at 10, then at 20. And then, as you can see, the ripple is gone too. And there we go. And the other thing is, let's say when I go to theme two, I got the button there rounded. When I go to theme one, they're still capped. But since in theme one, we don't have it, so it's gonna reset back. I mean, we set it back to four pixels. So this is just the start, I guess. There's a lot you can do with this. You can change pretty much any anything you want. And that's a something you cannot change. You can all just come here to the SX property and put it in here. So I hope that uh, give you guys some idea on how you can now have dynamic teams in Material UI. It's very powerful. I think, and you can do a lot with it. You can create um, user profiles. So every user can have their own profile. You can load a theme based on the season. You can load a theme based on uh, this time of day, let's say morning or night. So j there you go, just some ideas for you. So I hope you guys liked it. Please like and subscribe uh, as it encourages me to build more stuff. And if there's anything you guys want me to touch upon, just leave me a comment, message, anything, and I'll be more than happy to help. And uh, I guess that will be it for now. Bye.